Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Joe Beretta. <laughs> Everyone in the free world got excited when this YouTube spot featuring Matthew Broderick hit the internet. How can I handle work on a day like today? After the teaser aired, everyone on the internet wondered what this could possibly mean. Could it mean that Ferris Bueller was back? Could it mean that there was a much anticipated sequel coming? But no, no, it was none of those things. This intriguing 10 seconds was actually an ad for the Super Bowl for a Honda CRV. It featured Matthew Broderick, and I know why he did it. He did it for the money. I totally understand that. I get it. But when you watch it, he looks dead inside. It's really sad. Okay. Advertisers, this calls for a veto. No longer can you pull on my nostalgic heartstrings or use beloved childhood characters or, or favorites to try and sell me a CRV. Yeah, Ferris Bueller was the epitome of cool, and you're gonna you're gonna come along and slap me in the face with a dose of reality and tell me that he's a, a sad old man that traded in Cameron's dad's Ferrari for a CRV? No! 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 Get out of here! Speaking as someone who regards Ferris Bueller and his magnificent power of persuasion as one of the best role models of all time, I refuse to buy into your plan. Yeah, I mean, Ferris got away with everything. Men wanted to be him, women wanted to be in him. Not, not how it works, huh? Joe. He was a grade-A badass. He was a badass. But actually, when you think about it, if Ferris Bueller wasn't such a charming devil, he would actually have criminal and sociopathic tendencies. I mean, he'd be held accountable for a grand theft auto, breaking and entering, impersonating someone else, slander, inciting a riot, and good old ditching. So maybe you should think twice when you dip into the pools of nostalgia. Yeah, and keep your grubby hands off of my Ghostbusters. And don't you dare touch my Indiana Jones. And God help you if you even think about using Kroll. Joe, no one's gonna use Kroll. Everybody wants to use Kroll. So what do you guys think? Does it make you angry when commercials try and pull at your nostalgic heartstrings to try and sell you something, or do you just not care? Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the like, jump up, and subscribe, and click this little annotation bar for more stories of the day. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Go watch Kroll. Don't do it. Boom, boom.